Okay, let's do this once again. We got to... Okay, so I think I have a gist. I think I have an idea. I remember, like, how to take... Deal with this. But I hate when, at this point, I have little to no pills on me. I think this is going to be my third time beating this game. And I really hate that I have little to no pills on me. Alright, so, I gotta, I think I should take this thing down, the monster thing down in my human form, and then take down the human form in my monster form. Ow, you stop it, oh my god. Hey, thanks for canceling that kill hit out for me. Whoa. Let me just save. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Do I have to kill him in this monster form? Well, that done it. That done it. I'll take your fucking Tommy gun. You always had the worst luck, T. We didn't work out for so long. And when we got close, it all got taken away. You'd never hurt us. Not on purpose. No matter sure. how angry you got at the world, you always loved me and the boys. Now's the time, T. You need to face down the anger you have inside. Remember, I'm right there with you. I know you are. No. No. Please. I'm so close in beating this game. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Well. This kind of reminds me of the final fight from Extermination, where it's father and son. Okay. Okay, I gotta turn this thing on. It's the only way to take this thing down. All right, here we go. Zap me. I have the power, and you have nothing. Where are you? I don't understand the meaning to this, but I will take you down, for I have the power within me. Oh, you're right there. Ow. Don't do that. That's rude. Why? Why do you insist? Is it dead? No, it's not. Why am I... Oh, my God. Got it! I did it! And bam, we finally complete this game. 
What? Oh my god. You! You son of a bitch. Oh my god. The colonel sends his regards. Back in Eastern, he warned you, but you didn't listen. You fuck. He said to leave you alive. Only you. You fuck. Enjoy your new life. You fucking bastards. I knew it wasn't him. I imagine there's a few more. Enrique? Maybe. Hold on. You're that guy Tork, ain't you? I heard about you in the news. I got a friend at the DA's office. Says the prosecutor on your case is being indicted. Says you probably get a new trial. Probably. Your lucky day, huh? Jesus. You look like you've really been through hell. <sighs> you don't have to tell me twice. Somebody's missing from this picture, T. I don't want us to ever be apart again. Love always, Carmen. Uh. All right, and that completes the game. Well, even though we beat the game, we're not completely done yet. Well, I'll just give my uh, thoughts about this as a whole. I really love this game. I really do. I so bummed that I didn't get a chance to play this game back in the day when it first came out which was in 2004 I think it was mainly because I wasn't as hooked on the Xbox console as I am now then I mean the only reason I played the Xbox back then was for the two Halo games and that was pretty much it there were like one or two other games but that was just it my focus was mainly on the PS2 some for the GameCube but little to no attention for the Xbox which was a shame because I appreciate it now that I did more now than I did when it first came out and which really bummed me up because I really want to play this game and although this game you can play this game on the PS2 uh, it only plays in 30 frames this game plays in 60 with a higher frame rate so I, that's what the reason I chose this over the PS2 version which I did have at one point but I sold it so, yeah, it was actually a pretty good game. Um, it was, like, pretty different than what I used am to survival horror, though, even though there's some action things going on, it's pretty dark um, atmosphere from playing through this. Really dark. And, the fa and I really like that it was one of those earlier games where you can actually switch to first to third person on the fly which does help out really well and there were some like quirks to it like uh, selecting through the weapons was horrendous because you had to stop and then like uh, scroll through with the d-pad as opposed to just switching using one button to switch through the weapons they could have easily done that with one of the other buttons, but no, they had to do it with a friggin' D-pad. Same goes with the flashlight. Every time you want to turn on the flashlight, you'd have to use the D-pad to hit down and then hit, like, the trigger button on the flashlight for it to turn on or off. And you either had to use the flashlight or the flares. You couldn't use both. Which was kind of annoying, but I didn't rely on the flares too much. Only in areas where it got really dark. And I mean really dark. So. And I really hate, especially when it came to the final fight, that there's no, like, a grace, brief grace period for you when you get hit. When you get, you get hit multiple times, no recovery time. Th and it was pretty annoying. 
And yeah, that was like uh, pretty interesting. And I really hate how these like uh, these people drag me down to protect them just to get good good morale. And the ending you saw, there's actually three different endings. There's the good ending, there's the bad ending, and there's the neutral ending. The good ending is what I got is like my wife, like my dead wife, forgiving me and such. And I would do all things. You have to help out a lot of people. Thus, when you helped out those people, it would trigger. An image of your wife like in this blue aurora thing that indicates you did a good thing the bad ending is well I never really got to got the bad bad ending at all it you have to pretty much go against everything kill all the people that you're supposed to help just to obtain the bad ending the neutral ending is oh JMR rest in peace oh I don't know if he's actually dead or that's part of his name but anyways the bet the neutral ending is when you don't help anyone or kill anyone you just bypass all of them in. and I'm assuming the neutral ending is just as neutral as it can get though I wouldn't know for sure because I've only gotten the good endings and was actually interest and there actually is a sequel to this game called ties that bind thus because of the cliffhanger at the end where those guys like actually killed uh, Torx's wife and kids and that will be revealed more in the sequel but I won't get into that until much later on because I've got much more I've got a lot on my plate to do since I recently purchased the Elgato Game Capture HD 60 for my PS4 so I'll be able to record that with uh, 60 frames because my game capture I have right now will not record that in 60 frames despite a re recording in 720 60 FPS I'm not sure but Anyways, I'm hoping to get more into that, and, um, here's, um, there's one more thing I wanted to, uh, get into before we end it. Oh, no, 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 this wasn't it. This wasn't it at all, so... There was one more secret I wanted to show off. No, this was not it. Quit. So, let me start new game because there's actually something that once you beat the game, like the first time, you unlock a prologue to this. Here it is. Welcome to Carnate, inmates. Enjoy your stay. If any of you got jackrabbit blood, I will blow you wide open. Hear me? Okay. Now we're just gonna wait for a crow to come around so we can stand on it. Here it is. Hello, my name is Richard Rath. I was lead designer and writer on the set. Look at this hat! What you're playing here is what we call Level Zero. This was a prologue that we originally planned to be the first thing you would play when you started the game. It was added fairly late in development to provide a more interactive introduction, to suck the player in. And I think it did a lot of good stuff. It added a great establishing shot of the island, foreshadowed the final boss, it introduced Torque's family, and I think it featured some of the best voice acting we had. But in the end, we decided not to include it as the opening because it came off as a bit contrived. It also didn't pack the punch of the death row sequence and further delayed getting into the real game. We've included it here as a bonus for finishing the game, so I hope you enjoy playing it. You see that guy? Fucking degenerate. Hey, look at this. Kids. I have a hat. I have a fucking hat. Fucking baby killer. Yeah. It's too bad I can't get him for old oh, Sam. I got me a hat. I'm gonna take you damn boy. Fucking travesty. I say we speed it up. 
cut him down to size. Yeah. Oh, you want to cut me down to size, boy? Let's rumble. Oh, oh, I'm at, I'm actually defenseless. Oh boy, here we go. Oh. Correction, you're going to die. Oh, damn. What? What the fuck just happened? Don't move, inmate, or we will shoot you. Miles, Ernesto, get in there and get them under control. Shit, what are we gonna do with them? Not much we can do. Man's already going to death row. Wow. And it transition to the next um scene. You know what, just for fun? I want to watch this uh, beginning scene uh, once again because um, I really like the act voice acting here. How many times have I done this? And I still hate it. And I swear Abbott's full enough already. <laughs> well, I still got blood on me. That's funny. You know he's scheduled to get what he deserves. Ernesto, you can really be a jackass. You know that. Did you hear what this one did? I don't want to know. And you know what I mean. I just want to watch this uh, scene again because there was a funny line. Look, I said I didn't. Then he drowned one son in the tub and threw the other out a window. Don't ask me to cry for him. That's not what happened. Inmate, is this true? Oh, he won't say. Claims he blacked the whole thing out. <laughs> a likely story. The needle's too good for him. Guilty inmate. They should all die. Then why does he have a photo of his family on him? Willie's bed isn't even cold yet, and already they brought in a new guy. I heard he killed his old lady and kid. Sick motherfucker. Be quiet, you Jerry Curl fool. Don't you know who that is? Why should I? That's Torque, the man himself. Word is he shaved half the Aryan Brotherhood over at Easton. So fucking what? I can understand a guy killing his old lady, but he popped his kids too. Motherfucker deserves to be strapped down and dosed. You believe what the COs tell you, Slick? You don't know shit about the man. I'm telling you, what I heard, he's all right. That cocksucker's not going to be all right for long if he's in the row with the rest of us short timers. Shut your cracker ass, Goose. Man's do respect. You show him respect. I decide who I respect, shit boy. <laughs> you don't tell Why me. Why are you out there? Some of you want to go back on the low? I didn't think so. You. Yeah, you. Neighbor. Nice to meet you. My name's Floyd. How long you got to get turned on the table, huh? You all out of appeals? Your lawyer fuck you? I read about your trial. They got no witnesses, all circumstantial evidence. No one knows what really happened but you. But you can't remember a thing, is that right? Best not to listen to him talk. Floyd's a degenerate parasite. They should have slapped the cuffs on him coming out of his mama's... At least I think <laughs> Jesus is with me, man. Oh, here we go. Whatever I here we go. Says, Jesus is forgiving me. Will you shut the fuck up, <laughs> you baby-raping, sodomizing sack of shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted. Whoa. What the fuck is this? And now I got it. So, yeah, that's, uh, the suffering. And what's actually interesting, uh, wh whatever ending you get in the first game, it actually carries over to ties that bind. Which is, which is actually pretty cool. So, thank you guys for watching this part and bearing with me on this. And I've got at least one more, uh, Xbox game to go through before I get to some of the PS4 titles. So, until next time, I will catch you guys in the next video. See you then.